All right, we should be live. When we last left off, uh, we have defeated Halloween, which was a clownish boss from Flotsam, who was a minion of apparently a special general that that the reason why was because of this necklace train. and currently there is ruckus outside on the train so we are going to have a look and see what it is I think we can go different ways here okay. that's locked okay can we go this way that's also locked okay let's continue up the stairs uh, the ladder then up. This door should be open. There we go. That should be it. That train still looks magnificent. Wait, what? What rushes? Oh, it's Flopsum! He's shooting it with a machine gun. <laughs> It's like he's stuck to my boots. Nice. It should be underneath it. If we don't do something fast, we're in serious trouble. Time to fight, Maxon. All right, we're gonna fight. Sounds like a train. good idea, but how? Yeah, how? Here, <laughs> use this. We're going to throw bombs. Nice. So I throw this? Yep. No, no. You're just gonna put it, stay it there, light it, and then jump off the train. You toss it, and I'll grab another one. Just keep talking. I'm not so sure if this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to work. All right. I hate the sudden I'll glasses. <laughs> Time to show them who's boss. We are... Armed ATV B3000. While holding R1. Yeah, pick a bomb, blah, blah, blah. Whoa. Oh, he jumped. Throwing it badly. Jesus Christ, I'm bad at aiming. There we go. Way smacking him. And on to your face. There we go. Didn't he come in front of me? It's on fire! It's on fire. Do something, you <laughs> He's going to jump out, isn't he? Oh, great. And he landed on top of the train. Oh no! The glasses. This doesn't look good, Max. Uh, He's gonna blow himself up along with this whole train. He's a terrorist. What? <laughs> Lob another one of those bombs at me. Come on now. Do it. It's not even on fire, dude. Oh, no. Hey, mister. Oh? Don't oh. you ever give up. You're starting to look pretty pathetic. It's the weird little kid. What's this? There's no eyes. Another little brat? Oh, I see. So you want to die too? Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? I love it like he's just in his underpants. <laughs> Let's go, punk! It's time to burn! 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 What, what, what's this? No idea, but that's looking cool. What? It's you! How did you... Huh? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Lots of gotten killed. So that was how I met Monica. Monica! Even though it was the first time we'd met, 
I felt like I'd known her for a long time. Eventually, in the middle of the forest, the train couldn't go any further. Nice. So that's how we get Monica to join, or at least play with Monica, and then in some way we are. Ah, oh, rocks. Let's use bombs. Come on. We have bombs. Just clear it. Ah! Stop by our rock. Gonna take some work to move that one. Oh, God That's damn. fine with me. I've got things to do here. This place is the spirit forest in Dane. Ah, but it's different forest. than my time. Monica time. came from the future. Future? Time travel? She came to this time to do something very important. That's what she told me. Normally, you wouldn't believe time travel was possible. It's crazy, but this was only the beginning of our unbelievable adventure. Ooh. The real surprises were still ahead of us. Which are? If we could restore the Great Elder's origin point, mm -hmm. he could tell us who Griffin really is. Yeah, okay. The origin point? Yes, an origin point is where something begins, like a flower. You first have to plant the seed in the soil before it will bloom. Mm -hmm. In that case, Obviously. the action of planting Logical. the seed is the origin point of the flower. Uh -huh. In that way, the flower is the history that springs from the origin. In the all things that happen in the future have the their origin point in the past. Logical if that as origin well. point is changed, the results can be terrible. So basically, do something in, in this timeline, or fix something in this timeline, and it will change in the future. And that's what and it has might done. be for better or for worse. Ah, oh, seriously, Griffin did that. Griffin has sent his henchmen to this time, altering the origin points of my time. Oh! And now he is rewriting history as he sees fit. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I'm going to allow that to happen. In my time, this forest was where the Elder of the Spirits, Jurak, lived. Jurak? He was very That's wise and powerful. the person that we're going to see. I always see a safe point. His great power purified the forest and gave vitality to all the living things in it. But nice. Griffin erased Jurak from existence. What? And not only Jurak, all those with the power to challenge Griffin are being erased from existence too. I don't think no he'll way. stop until he's wiped out the entire world. So, someone has to stop him. But why would you erase the entire world just for you to be alone in the world? Even what? now, my comrades are fighting Griffin in the future. And Max, I need you to help us. Huh? Me? Yes, you have to. Me? Uh... I have to. Do I have a choice? Probably not. Okay, I'll do it. Alright, I knew you would. Guess we're a team now, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that jiggling, just because she, she knows he's like, We're a team now! Woohoo! Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> that face. And with that, Monica joined my adventure. An adventure to take back the true past. The true history that had been stolen by Emperor Griffin. But you're an emperor. You're not a conqueror. If you were a conqueror, Chapter I would understand. Two. Resurrection of the Great Elder. I would so much understand. Okay, so L3. Let's start with Sindane. To go f to Monica. And, and... Max, you go on without me. I'll just stay here and work on getting Blackstone running again. If you need my help, just holler. Just holler. Hey, Max, we're gonna have to work hard to shift this boulder. Bring back anything good you find in the forest. Make sure you let us know if you need a hand. Okay, take care of yourself, Max. Hmm. And you do, little girly pie. Curly pie? <laughs> what the hell? You bet. 
Okay, let's go. What? You can now use a train to move around. Choose leave from the train door. Then you need to return to Palm Brinks to do some shopping. As more people join your adventure, put them on the train. You can have your friends on the train immigrate to the Giorama areas. Giorama areas? Go into the dungeons with you as support characters. Right. I might off camera maybe go back to Palm Springs and do some shopping and maybe get some like tools and like if I do this like take pictures oh I'm full on pictures So everything with like a light bulb next to it is probably saying, look, this can be used for an idea. So can we like use useless photos? Yes. Right. Oh okay. Belts can still be used, okay. Alright. Like I might go back off camera just so I can go back to Palm Springs. Wrap myself for the invention. So yeah, that would be nice to have. It's gonna save here so that we know that we have like save file starting from here. And I'm gonna just in case like do a second save file. Just in case you never know that one becomes corrupt or that you get stuck and can't do anything. Go to Sindane? Yes. I presume that's another like dungeon esque thing. I know I've looked up already, I missed two uh, pictures I can use to make things. What's that? Which are missable. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but hey. It's a house all by itself. That's kind of weird. Let's check it out. I might not do it and not go back and yeah. just play the game as it is. Someone's there! So like, basically like in things like Zelda or things I would wow. like go do stuff, do side missions, but not collect everything. Same in this. Play RPGs for the story. Ah. Rather than complete everything. What is it? What do you two want? As far hey, as I know, you you're can, from the Furbit tribe of Sindane, aren't you? You can collect and craft a lot, but none of them is all really needed to um, get to the ultimate weapons, basically. It's so cute! All curly and everything! What the fuck? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> what the hell? That's right! There's something I want to ask you, okay? You... you... this is how you ask a favor? <laughs> oh, sorry. Ow! 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 Have you heard of a being here named Jurak? Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> I wonder why he got so mad. Well, <laughs> you just pulled his mustache. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Even Max is clueless. Are you kidding me? I love how this is like an open, open worldish now. Pretty cool. I wonder if I can find something here. Can I do something with the tree branch? Yeah, log. Hey. Can I get something from a stone? Maybe? Yeah, rock. Sunday. Look at that. So basically, there's nothing here except for a house in the middle of nowhere. Alright. 
Let's go inside. <laughs> oh, we're going to knock. Nobody's home! Nobody's home. I hear the Furbits are crazy about grape juice. And okay. we brought all this grape juice, too. Now what are we going to do? If he won't let us in, I guess we'll just have to throw it away. Really? Come in! <laughs> hey, it worked! <laughs> oh, no grape juice. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look at this. There more? Well, look at that! Three of them! Ooh! What? Oh, you want the grape juice, huh? <laughs> well, it'll cost ya! <laughs> hmm, let's see... I've heard you furbits have a mysterious magical power to make things like houses and plants. Well, obviously, in the middle of nowhere. What are you getting at? I want you to use that power to help us. Help you? How's that going to help us? You probably know there's something strange going on. The whole world has become like one big deserted island. Everything's uh -huh. disappeared. Uh -huh. At this rate, there won't be anything left. I want you to use your building power to rebuild a town in this time. Ooh. No way! It's too much work! Besides, we got no time for that, so just run along now, will ya? No time? So what are you doing here, in the middle of nowhere? What do you mean you don't have time for that? <laughs> Even if I told you, it wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, it would. Hold on, Rococo. Rococo, so that's your name. <gasps> Rococo. Okay, you two, I think I understand. Come on over here and have a seat. And who are you? Mr. Weiss, man. The name's Conda. You're Conda. You have Rococo, Conda. This here's Rococo. Yeah. And this is Tobo. Tobo. Pleased to meet you. So, who might you two be? I'm Monica. Okay. I'm Max. So, nice to meet you. Tonda and Kondo. You know there's something wrong with the world, right? The nope. great darkness is trying to distort the flow of time. Yeah, Mr. Griffin. I was beginning to wonder about what was happening to our forest. <laughs> of course, I'd like to help out, but to be honest, we're in a bit of a fix ourselves. Even if we wanted to, we can't help you till we solve our own problems. Okay, and what are your problems? What's wrong? Then? Tell us about it. Yeah, tell us about all of oh, Tell us about all of your problems. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. It's not that hard. Mm, it's a long story, but. It's always a long story. It must have been about a year ago or so. But I'm just gonna tell you anyway, even if it's a long story. One day a beautiful woman got lost and wandered in here. Okay. Oh, so it's about a we woman. We don't like humans too much, so we approached her carefully. Mm -hmm. Humans are crafty, cunning creatures. That's how we've always thought of you. Thank you. But this woman was different, she was. Her soul was more beautiful than words can describe. So you were in love with the woman. Now I understand, but what the hell is that of a beard? Is it growing out of the nose? What the hell? <laughs> that left guy. Jesus Christ, what the hell? That beard is so weird. It's like he's growing out of the nose. <laughs> and like straight down to it. <laughs> okay, next. Said her name was Holly. Holly. Holly, the beautiful woman. I had a feeling that wasn't her real name, but that didn't matter a bit. Oh. During the few days and weeks she was with us, she wove a sort of spell over us all. She had us in the palm of her hand. 
Okay. Then, one day after the blue, something happened. Holly left to search for food and just disappeared into the forest, never to return. Hmm. Did, uh, was Emperor Griffin part of that, or was she actually just an evil? A few days went by and still no Holly. We were so sad. It was like our hearts had been broken into a million little pieces. And then we have Connor with his bright white eyes. There was no way we could go on without her. In those few short weeks, she had become an essential part of our lives. She was part of us all. Mm -hmm. So we formed a search party to search for Holly. All those beards, so magnificent. Look at those. A party of four set out for Rainbow Butterfly Wood, where she Rainbow disappeared. Rainbow Butterfly back Wood. But those four haven't come back yet either. <laughs> also gone. Okay. I was sure I picked the most able-bodied of our tribe, but they turned out to be a bunch of goofs. Why? So basically, at this point in time, I'm afraid we can't help you two out. You want us to use our special powers to help you, but the thing is, all seven of us have to be here in order for it to work. All seven of you? Why? Why all seven? Besides, we're really not in a helping mood. I'm pretty sure you understand. That's quite a story. Hmm. Mm. I have a proposition to make. Right. I bet I can guess. You want us to go into the woods and find your four friends, right? You mean you'll help us? Could you also keep an eye out for Ollie? Each day without her brings us nothing but gloom. So you're in love. I understand. Four or five, what's the difference? One? So what does this Holly <laughs> look like anyway? Any special features? Special features, let me see. Must have been something. Um, ah, her hair. It was long. No, wait! Maybe it was short. I think. <laughs> wait! That's it! The potato pies used to make were the greatest! Oh my god. That's right! They were mighty tasty! Mighty yeah, tasty. Yeah, incredible! Huh, <laughs> forget it. Potato pie? Potato pie? He heard pie and immediately bang. That reminded me of the potato pies you made for me when I was a kid. Oh, could Holly be Max's mom? They were so warm, eating them would always cheer me up. The most delicious potato pies in the whole world. And she looks the same. That's why... The Holly that the Furbits talked about was actually you, Mother? Just thinking that made my heart beat faster. Ooh. This was the other reason that I wanted to see the world, so that I could find you again, Mother. Mother? Even though the world had been laid waste, I had a feeling that you were out there. Somewhere. Probably. And we're going to find you, I think. I hope. Do -do 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 -do. It's just beyond here. Lately, there seem to be some nasty monsters living in these parts. Watch yourselves now. Dungeon time! Die! Die! Ooh! And gone is a flower. Legend has it that in these woods lives a mysterious rainbow colored butterfly. How does it now? And anyone who lays eyes upon that butterfly never leaves the woods again. Well, I mean, if your friends are gone, and you think they were goofs, but you know there's a legendary butterfly, rainbow colored, in these woods that if you lay your eyes upon it, you, ne you never leave the woods again. I mean, isn't it frankly like one on one is two, basically? You know, I wonder if Holly and the search party we sent out went and accidentally found themselves that rainbow butterfly. There you go. 
Just be careful not to run into that rainbow butterfly. What do you mean, be careful? What could we possibly do to prevent it? If that happens... If that happens? Just pretend you didn't see it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Oh. oh, take this with you, boy. Oh, what What's else? this? It's a bottle. It's the Ferbert's favorite thing in the world. Grape juice. Grape yeah, juice. Those guys just might smell you and come running. I have obtained a grape juice. Okay, I got you. Good. I'll be here waiting Thanks, for Thanks, Karma. I wish you good luck. I wish you good luck. Thank you. I shall go and try and maybe find them. Go to the Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Yes, 